How's it going, everybody? My name is Ron Skolzding. I'm over here at Timo Yama MMA and Fitness in Irvine, California. And today, we're going to be doing a glove review of one of the Fairtex gloves. And that model is going to be the BG V1. We've got a bunch of other gloves here for sale, but for today, we're gonna to be focusing on the BG V1. And so, all that is is just a product code. So if you guys are looking anywhere, online um, or even here at the gear shop here in Irvine, um, you're gonna wanna look at the model number. And that's gonna tell you exactly what type of glove it is and what kind of features it has. And so the BGV1, uh, if you are a glove connoisseur, if you are a collector of gloves or you're just starting out or whatever, this is a must have um, in any collection. This is the original tie glove. Fairtex, let's talk about the brand for a second. The brand, Fairtex, one of the original OG Thai brands and it's consensus, one of the best and highly sought after brands um, in Muay Thai, in kickboxing, in MMA, shoot, even for some boxers. Uh, they do lace-ups, they do Velcros, uh, but the BGV1 is their original design. Everybody wants them, not everybody has them. They're very high in demand and very low in supply. Why is that? Well, Fairtex, just a little uh, insider information, their main, uh, business is textiles. So Fairtex is their side business, believe it or not. One of the best tie brands out there, and it's not even their main priority. And But that's also a cool thing because with the changing in times, everybody has gone to outsourcing, everybody has tried to switch and find cheaper ways to make their product. Not Fairtex, they don't care about profitability. Shoot, they don't even care to make more products, uh, but they still make it because what they really want is the best products out there, and they've stayed true to that. They are still handmade in Thailand, they're still made in Thailand. They still manufacture their origin, their country of origin, which is huge. Everybody's outsourcing to India, to Pakistan, to China. Um, and these guys are still making it in Thailand and they're still hand making it and they're still using genuine Thai leather or high quality Thai synthetic leather um, that they've done themselves. So let's take a look deeper at this BG V1 Thai glove. Packaging, simple, doesn't have to be fancy. Um, they cover it, they have a label, they let me know that it's a 16 ounce glove. Um, we could do another video on the differences between 16s, 14s, 12s, 10s, 8s, um, and whatnot. Uh, but for this video and its purposes, we're going to be reviewing the BGV1. Classic red color, beautiful. And so what's unique about this model and what you can expect from this model right here, of course, is the origin. This is a short cuffed glove. It's great, it's compact, it fits in tighter spaces. Um, it's easier to put on and off, um, and it doesn't cover too much skin or arm when you put it on because it's a short cuff. It's got a wide Velcro strap, so it feels like it's more stable and gives you more wrist stability. Um, and more importantly, it has this Thai style. Um, so it's got a very wide width, a wide wrist hand form, and the thumb position isn't so much more boxing oriented, it's more tie oriented. And why is that? So that you can clinch a whole lot more. It's got, it's got five breathing holes in the center for ventilation. The stitching, if you look very closely, is on point. Someone has made this glove by hand and they took their sweet time. They didn't rush through it. You look at the line work and it is perfectly straight. It's beautifully constructed. The logo is perfectly centered. Um, it even has the stamp confirming that it is in fact handmade in Thailand and made of genuine leather. The inside of the glove, the Velcro is super strong. Um, it should last quite a while. I actually have a couple of these models and the Velcro with daily use should last about a year with heavy use. The inside is made of a nice nylon. Um, the backing has a leather uh, material here. Um, once you put your hand in, the hand compartment is nice and firm, which is nice. You feel a lot of pressure on the thumb as well as on the back of the knuckle. The padding for the knuckle position is a bit on the thinner side since it's such a compact glove. And so the difference between this and the other gloves is the padding is a little more compact. So when you hit your glove, you're gonna feel it a whole lot more. I would say it's the difference between like a Mercedes and a Ferrari. Mercedes is nice, it's cushy, you barely feel the bump in the road, whereas a Ferrari, it's nice, but you feel every single bump in the road. Um, you feel connected to your target so that every time you hit, you know exactly what's making contact. And so I would compare this more as a Ferrari as opposed to a Mercedes. Um, 
it's got a nice wide fist to accommodate small hands, such as myself, and bigger hands um, that are nice and wider. So you'll be able to fill a decent size um, hand in here. It's got padding here on the side, um, most likely designed so that you can block head kicks and whatnot as it comes up, or spinning back fists uh, if you are allowed to do such a thing. And the leather smells genuine, it smells great. If you guys are looking at getting into your first pair, this is definitely high value. And what is value but getting the most bang for your buck? It's getting the best quality product with performance and materials and construction in mind while spending the least amount of money. I would say this BGV1 is gonna be the best value out there. It's not the cheapest, it's not the most expensive. You'll see gloves range anywhere between $15 up to $1,000 for gloves. So for a $100, $120 range for one of the best gloves ever designed and made, um, and still high quality, a you know essentially a historical glove um, in the glove world, you're getting a pretty good glove. And so if you guys are looking for bang for buck, looking for value, 100, 120 bucks is a great buy, um, and this falls right into that range. And so they have these in a bunch of different patterns and colors and whatnot, but if you're looking for a good glove, this will be it. This is the BG V1 model. Aesthetically, pick whatever color and design you want, but performance-wise, you guys can look for these type of features and expect these type of things if you are looking at this glove. Um, we're gonna be doing some other glove reviews on the BGV 16, the BGV 18, and the BGV 14 from Fairtex, uh, but this is the OG. If you guys are just getting your collection started, you need to start with this guy. This is the original glove. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, comment in the section below, and if you guys have any other reviews or requests you guys want to have, please let us know. Thank you very much. Oh yeah.